come in and carry on as I show you some of the progress on my housing plot. So if you've watched my previous streams you will have seen my original home decor and the little home I had which I loved. It was so cute, it was so quaint and I'm not gonna lie I already missed the tiny house but I'm all here for bigger better things so let's take a look through my expanded house and a little bit of the decor that I've been doing. So out front, I've done this windy log fencing to give a bit of a pathway and also weighed off a couple areas on that front section. For ease, I've put a few items down at the front just so I can run in, dump stuff and go back out, especially for going to my shipping bin. It just makes it so much easier. I love having this here. I would so recommend it. Have a chest somewhere that you can easily access right from the front. One thing I do love so far that I've done on this pathway is use some of the rugs as like these little stepping stones. We don't currently have any in-game pathing so I thought this was a cute kind of workaround for the time being. If we go towards the house then I don't really have much else going on up here. I haven't really focused on decorating this properly yet but it'll come. There's no need to rush things on this game. To the left that goes off to my kind of crafting and smelting area but I do have this little setup so far of the sundial. I don't know what else I want to do but I do want to make a little bit of a moment using this. So moving on to my my crafting tent. I don't really have too much going on here. It kind of is as it says on the tin. This is just where I go and craft things, smelt things, cut down my wood etc. But I have tried to add a little bit of decor just to make it look a little bit nicer and use up some of the furniture I had in my pockets. Although it doesn't take up any of my storage it does make it a little bit difficult when I'm trying to decorate other things and there's just so much going on. So I took some things out and decorated it to a little setup that I think looks cute for now. The other thing I've also done has been placed a couple of my lock storage in here. I don't necessarily want these to be hugely easily accessible especially since I can get into my lock storage from my regular storage but I do want them to hand if I need them. So if we go to the right hand side of the house we just have my farming area just now and again this area is not hugely decorated. It is very much being used for purpose at the moment nothing else other than that really and I really want to work out how to make my farm look a a bit cuter and a bit more part of the whole area but I think a little part of me is just holding out hope that we might get some more farming plots because I would love to have like a few big areas and then like a couple lines of trees but you know that's maybe wishful thinking. Heading on into the house then I have the big room to go in and from there we have the kitchen straight in front, the living room to the left and my bedroom to the right. In the main room I've just I've basically just kept it quite open and just like a very welcoming space space. We have a little desk set up to the top left and then all the other kind of corners are just filled with like little shelves and tables and stuff. I more just wanted it to feel very warm and inviting and the fireplace at the end of the kitchen is meant to be the main focal point. So speaking of the fireplace let's go straight into the kitchen. This kitchen I am loving. It is maybe a little bit cramped. I don't think I could host any cake parties going on in here, but I think for all the items that I have, all the makeshift, this has really came together in a way that I was not expecting. I love how cluttered all the shelves look. It feels like a used kitchen to me. We also have the little dining table. We have the chair around the fireplace. Again, I love some additional items like cushions that I could put down. Sitting in front of the fireplace, roasting marshmallows. I've loved doing that for years over a fireplace. So so I'd love to try and recreate that in the game somehow. So heading back out we're gonna go into the living room now. We have another fireplace here. I just could not help myself. The fireplace is so cute. I love the warmth it gives off, the lighting. It just is the cozy vibe to me. Like nothing else compares. And I wanted this living room area to feel really cozy and like very inviting. Somewhere that you know the family could gather around. Friends will be sharing drinks and stories and just, you know, having a great time. So that is why I've gone with all these different seating options. We've got some board games and bits and bobs and I'm loving cluttering the wall beside the fireplace with loads of paintings and pictures. I just, it really makes me feel reminiscent of my grandparents' home. So being able to bring that into the game has been 
such a nostalgic feeling for me too. So the little hallway that I have here, I totally intended it to be a bathroom, but the bath that I had at the time was a bit too large, so that wasn't gonna happen. I need to add the bathroom on somewhere else. But for now, I've turned it into this almost witchy potion making area. Don't really know what it is. I've just chucked a bunch of eclectic items in here and I love how this is turning out. I want the rest of my house to eventually also have this vibe along with the cozy vibe. I love this room so much. The addition thing that I have but I feel like it's kind of an extension of it is the shrine. This is one of the level 4 gifts that you get from the NPCs. What better way to use it than just like make a little shrine out of it. So I cluttered it with some more candles and the like but I love the glow that this gives off and it was really the finishing touch for this area. Now let's head over to the bedroom. I think this is probably one of the most complete feeling rooms albeit the kitchen does feel like very finished. The bedroom it feels just done to me. I love all the colours, furnishings, I love how this whole room is came together. The little hallway room will be like a dresser room, but that is basically it for my house. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and what are some things you would love to see them bring into the game interior wise. An additional thing I would love to see is an upstairs. I do not know how that would work in practicality ways, but I would love to be able to make a little upstairs, have a staircase, I think it would be so cute. Until the next video or stream, stay safe, stay cozy, Slanja. Bye.